DJ turn it up, better DJ bring it back. Tell the DJ turn it up, better DJ bring it back. Tell the DJ turn it up, better DJ bring it back. Tell them play that shit again, tell them that you like that line. DJ turn it up, better DJ bring it back. Tell the DJ turn it up, better DJ bring it back. Hi and welcome to Taste the Clouds review page. Today I'm going to be reviewing a DB Power IP camera. Um, let's open the box and get on with it. So, in the box you get a instruction manual. It's well packaged, which is good considering it will be a fragile camera. Let's get rid of all this. Also in the box you get the power lead. It's worth noting that you don't get the lead to connect it up to your modem. So if you've got one of those handy, that would be great. Okay, so here's the little camera. As you can see on the back, there is a port for the power to go into. And this is where you'd connect it to your modem using an Earthnet cable. So that would go in there. The manual comes in different languages. Um, the English part is straightforward, although it is broken English. You can still follow it quite easy. It tells you the app that you're going to need in order to install it. Um, it gives you two choices, one for the um, Apple iStore and one for your Android system, depending on what phone you've got. Um, and then you'll be able to use it um, um, via your phone. Um, also, it comes with a handy little stand if you wanted to put it um, on the wall. Um, as you can see, it moves around. You can mount it up and place it wherever you need. Okay, so I'll give you a brief overview of how to install it onto your phone it's an app called tcu and um, you can get that on your android phone once you've downloaded that and you've connected it via the earthnet um, it will start making a, a noise as it scans and makes sure it's working this is a pan and tilt camera and um, so it will it's like a 360 view once it's all set up um, as you can see, it tells you to, to connect it up. Um, once you've got the app on your system, it will say search devices. Now on the side of the camera, you'll see the ID number, which is basically the camera number, and also the password that you're gonna need to put in once you've found the device on your phone. There's two ways in which you can set this phone up on your system you can do it with the qr code which is that that funny pixelated code apparently if you hold your phone in front of it um it should pick it up and start making a noise i found that that didn't work on my phone um but um, i set it up manually found the camera id put in the password and it seems to pick it up fine and um, you've got two different ways you can find it you can press the device and it should come up as listed camera or you can do the shake um, which you shake the phone it picks up the device you press it and it goes in it's really good picture um, considering this is a um, one of a budget ip cameras i think it's really good picture um it's worth noting that it's also got night vision on there which is also crystal clear um i'll put up some pictures at the end of the um review and you can see the kind of picture quality on there um so yeah overall i think it's a great little camera brilliant device um it could be used for several reasons. We've got it so that we can check in on the pets when we're out, um, as we've got cats and dogs, don't want to see them fighting. Um, but another good idea to use it for is maybe a baby monitor or just the straightforward security device. Another great feature is that it's got a two-way mic. Um, so here, if you speak on it via your phone, um, I don't know, say the dog's getting up to mischief and I want to tell him to stop being naughty. I can press that on my phone and it actually comes out of here and comes out into the room. And then when anyone's speaking within the room and you're look, viewing it via your phone, you can also hear what's being said. So, And the quality is really good as well. It's, um, it's not distorted at all, so you'll be able to hear what's going on. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it up um, so that you can have a little look. So 
So I've just plugged it in. As you can see, it's doing a little circuit test just to make sure that it's okay and working fine. As you can see, this is the power cable and that's the um, cable to connect to the internet. The green light flashes to say that it's all okay. You can have a quick look to see that it is panning the room. It beeps as it's finding connection to the internet. If it doesn't find the connection, it will continue to beep to tell you there's an error. If all is okay, it will do one final beep and then rest. Okay, so the camera's set up. I've got my phone here so that I can give you a quick look at how it works. This is the app here, the TCU. So if you press it, it'll take, it, take you in. Um, this is the device list. Um, it will show you the camera there you go just focusing on that so i'm going to press it and log into my camera so you can see how good it is it says connecting there we go i just muted that so that we don't get any uh, squeaky feedback otherwise all you're going to hear is squeaking so there you go like i say you can control it all by your phone like that um this is the speaker i've muted it but um, that's the two-way bit and here is the mic so that you can hold it and you speak into it and it comes out into the room um, so yeah and when you're done you can just press the off and it takes you back to that screen so that's the end of my review for the DB power IP pan and tilt camera like I say the quality is really good considering the budget um, I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a, a similar camera. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers, guys.